All right, so tier list time again. And like usual, I want to preface, uh, these are all the units at basically their max potential, including at least like skill page one out of six. Plus, usually I'm counting uh, max dupes if it's relevant. And I got to take into account certain units being affected by the meta because sure, on paper, they might look good. But uh, if they're type disadvantage or type advantage, it might help them or lower them, right? So that's the things I consider. As of right now, I'm top 100 in uh, upper rank PvP. So, you know, I'm just going to consider that. I'll probably be like top 200, 300 if I stay active by the end of the week. May probably 100, actually, because at this point, I've got that little edge already. But uh, I'll probably be like top 250 by the end of the week for this week. So yeah, we're going to say top 100 for now for the title. But uh, let's get into it. We'll do our changes first. I have the tier list already like changed next to me. But besides that, uh, we'll just uh, get into it. Now we got four new units and we'll do the changes. Okay, so as for uh, the... We'll do the people moving down then the people moving up. It's not like that crazy of changes, I'd say. But first of all, this, you know, goes down. Because sure, he has high speed, but you could just use anyone. The, the main reason that I had him high was he had high speed. Plus the event skill page from Season 3 where you could apply a taunt. When someone already has a taunt and you attack the person with, with the taunt active, uh, he could be good for that. But you could literally put it on fucking like Season 2 Noel for the AoE and it's still going to be the same result. You only need one debuffer and I wouldn't say that uh, it should be you know on your team. So he's going out, down to A, which is still a respectable tier. He has the defense up if he needs. By the way, I need to preface, I don't think I said it outright, but it's PvP attack tier list. We're not going to really be mingling in defense because then it gets very convoluted because it's bots right so i like sticking to attack right now you know has the increased defense which could be good for single target and his aoe his alt is like the normal incapacitate alt with uh, the guaranteed crit on the one unit so that is a pretty good one which is why he's here plus high speed so you know really i don't think you could ever go wrong with it um actually i mean i'll just move everyone that i want to move now next up red asta is going down uh, I kind of didn't really think before, but there's so many high blue tiers. And there's also the fact that Charlotte just stops you from being able to crit completely uh, for one turn when she uses her skill 2 with her skill page. So he won't be getting crits. Um, he's going to be high speed, sure, but he won't be getting the kills. Like Charmy, you'll see Charmies with 130, 140, 150k, Marses, right? You're not killing anyone. Even if you kill Julius, he has another life, and your skill 2 is not killing that Julius either way. So yeah, Asta... Uh, he's, he's for sure, he, he has to get moved down, it's just kind of how it is. Um, now as for A tier, I mean, it does stay relatively the same. Um, I mean, all of these units are starting to just get a solid placement. I mean, you could move, move real up, but I just don't, I don't really see it. Usually I always target reels and they're very easy to kill. But I would say that ghost single target doesn't go that crazy. So yeah, no, he's going down to B, I tried it out. Did not work out, but except for that, uh, I mean, yeah, that's basically all that there is for that. But uh, I was wrong in my judgment of Raya. He's still pretty good. Just buff him a bit, and he could do good single target. Um, I don't think you need to put him with Lich. Like, he's a solid A tier in terms of damage. I'd say, like, he's a lower A tier, or sorry, like, sorry lower A tier, but, like, Lich, Yami, and, like, Fuego are pretty decent, especially Fuego with the uh, Charmy Stonks, for sure. Um... But overall, this is like, this seems pretty decent to me. Um, I would say also we have to put Mars up and Charmy up. Like, j just look at how many blue units are up there. Now, Charmy, why Charmy is so good is that she gets defense, she gives skill points, she heals every turn. If you have her do five, every single turn, every single ally turn, you get 10% healing of your HP, which is insane. Mars debuff block for one turn is probably the best passive in the game still. Um, he stuns, he taunts, he increases his defense, which he already tanks very well. Um, he also has the AoE stun, then with Lotus, he uh, taunts and all attack lowers. So Mars, to me, is just like an insane unit, right? Just an insane unit. Um, now, for S tier, I could see Veto going lower, but except for that, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Kyoto's damage is still incredibly good like incredibly good so to me he he is worthy of staying there i'd say that raya the only problem with him is that he, the lich and raya combo ain't gonna be killing the blue units anymore which is a problem that's like because if you're running the lich raya combo you have to like full speed this shit and if you don't you're not killing either way and if you do you're not killing so you know that's kind of just how it is for them 
right? Now, Nozel has found a pretty good placement in the meta, I would say, because of the fact that uh, he got buffed and he has pretty good magic attack reduction and all that. So, yeah. Now, we're going to start getting into the Season 5 units, which I think are just insane. So, we'll start with Charmy. S tier. Uh, she has, if it wasn't for the Pumpkin Pie effect, which basically every time it goes on someone, it gets an extra number stack up to five at five stacks when it switches randomly between five people uh five enemies it's going to do 600 percent attack and magic attack she burns a fuck ton at dupe five she's at 109 speed she has invincibility which is very good for her because her just staying alive is just nice right invincibility is always a good thing to have at 109 speed right is insanely good plus with her skill page she heals at a max dupe that skill page which i have dupe five out of six uh eight or like what it's just five out of six before dupes technically um at five six but you get have a 70 percent chance if there's a burn on someone to want to heal your hp by 100 percent, which you just get a free heal right so that's all very good um she has a stun on skill one if there's someone with pumpkin pie like the person who has pumpkin pie if you attack them it's a guaranteed stun so i mean like that's 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 just stupid right charmy damage wise is just amazing even if it's a blue meta, her burns and pumpkin pie could guarantee at least one kill and then chip a bunch of people. She might be like chipping as much as like Charmy could heal in a turn. So I'd say it's pretty good. Uh, very good. Very, very good. I really do like Charmy. She is like probably the most fun unit from uh, these four for sure, I would say. I, I really do like her. She's actually really fun. Then Noel uh, took a bit of deciding, but I'd say she's also SS tier. And you want to know why? She lowers the damage that um, attackers do by 40% turn 1. She puts a 30% damage increase on the whole team. Then her ultimate, um, if you call... Okay, this I need to talk about this little combination of her and Charlotte. Charlotte, full blue team, uh, silences skill 2. She, with her ultimate, can lower the skill points by 3, which makes it so they cannot ult. And if you put this combo together, let's say on Julius, he has to use his skill 1 turn 1. If you use her ult plus her silence... Like, the person you use that combo on can only use their skill 1, which is insane. Now, besides that, she taunts for 2 turns, which goes through debuff block, which is very good. That's usually what I use turn 1 on a Rod S, right? So, it's just a very good combo of her being able to lower attack, increase your damage, make sure that they cannot attack. And when you're attacked, uh, she actually lowers skill points by 1. And she also has 112 speed, so this Noel is very, very good. Now, of course, taunts, I'm going to reiterate. When there's a taunt active, you cannot use any buff skills. So in the wall shield, Radis's shield, any heals, right, cannot be used. So that is very good. Also any support, so like William skill 2. Funeral Alt, Vato skill 2, they cannot be used, which is why Noel is this high. With everything she does, she's just insane. Plus, she extends debuffs infinitely on her skill 1, which also goes great. Plus, if you put it with Charlotte, when Charlotte does use her combo, I usually, I'd rather use her combo because mine is not max duped. Um, she takes off barriers, so if perchance, right, one of the barriers do get active, she's going to remove the barrier from like a DPS and then you could kill the DPS. Very, very good unit. I think that this has been the most solid season in terms of every unit being good, including these two. Um, yeah, I really do enjoy it. So next up, let's go for Langris. I steer. Uh, why? Main reason is because he kind of counters Charmy to a certain extent where he blocks heals and then lowers the recovery amount. I'm not too sure the technicalities of why uh, blocking heal on recovery is different, but it does nerf the healing or completely block the healing, which is very good. Plus against a blue team, he does uh, increase favorable damage on ultimate. He could go up to 109 speed and he gets his skill, uh, sorry, he gets his ultimate back every two turns if you have him at least dupe two. And if he's dupe five, he gets up to 109 speed with invincibility that this guy is going to be very good, um, especially if you put him with Charmy, which is funny because he's a Charmy counter. Blue Charmy, by the way because she heals uh he's gonna be very good Dam damage wise he's okay but he's decent enough to where i could count it plus he gives the whole team the 20 percent favorable damage so if more green units start coming out i could see langris being very good he's incredibly annoying in defense and attack so i'd say langris is uh actually a lot better than i first thought he's just someone who i needed to be here but he is not coming close to any of those units at all right at all at all okay he's good but he's not what green needed still okay because listen, Jack, main reason he's here, he gets a guaranteed stun, which is still very valuable because there's only two in the game, right? That you could just get guaranteed stun for no cost, right? Charmy gets it, but she needs to have burn active. Yami gets it, but he needs to have bleed active, right? So it's little things like that that does change it. But if we really look at the DPSs, Vanessa sucks. Rai is okay, Lich is okay. 
Jack is good because of his stun mainly. His damage is pathetic, I'd say. And then obviously Langris, uh damage is okay but if that recovery block is so useful because of how many charmies you see and because like of how much she's healing like sometimes she's just like you're about to kill someone and then of course her defense is up plus also by the way he has a two-turn debuff block after his ult which you could basically get forever and ever and ever if you keep on uh getting his ultimate every two turns so it's it's very good it's just like langris is actually a lot better than i thought he's pretty good and in defense he's very toxic but we're talking about attack so we're not going to be talking about that his skill two does suck because obviously you need to steal skill points from someone but if you have charlotte on your team there's no problem because charlotte skill uh, stealing two is really not that bad at all um but yeah no langris very good now you know is also it's crazy like look at that three units going s tier and then one in ss like this season has been incredible if you look at season four right we got one in SS, one yeah, one in SS, um, one in S, one in A, two in A, and two in S, right? So like two in A, not that crazy, right? Then season three, we have one in B tier, um, who was it? Then one in SS tier, and then one in um, S tier, right? Plus Julius, obviously, so you know, but you know, uh, season five has been the most like solid season. Three in S, one in SS, huge. Now, uh, what does Yuno do? It's his absolute silence that's that's able to penetrate through debuff block. You cannot block silence silences or um, taunts. And he has he has 107 speed, which does suck. But he has um, the absolute silence on his ultimate, which is very very good, right? Very very good. Um, that absolute silence stops skill two and alt, which you just choose someone and then like GG, they're useless. And he also lowers their stamina, plus his skill 2 has the full AoE silence, plus could increase his stamina. Then at full red team, he starts at 100% stamina, which is just a very good unit. It's mainly also, many people like to say that his combo um, is good, where it applies one turn silence, uh, absolute silence, sorry. But I don't think it's that crazy because you need to have someone else to use it with. And you may, I don't think you would have uh, Charlotte specifically on this team. Maybe if you want, if you run like one of the people with a combo on his, that with a good combo that you want to use on his team, then sure, it's good. But if not, it's nothing that crazy. Plus, it's only one turn. But his main use is that his ultimate applies absolute silence for two turns um, and lowers their stamina. So to me, it's very good. Plus, he has 107 speed. Um, then, you know, he's just he's just going to be a, uh, a very good unit. I'd say that he's definitely not on the tier of how Noel does it, but this guy... Is still gonna be very good uh I, I do like you know i just feel like after his alt he becomes quite worthless but that ultimate is enough to kind of solidify his placement because blocking it for two turns is just uh kind of insane so yeah no this is uh my tier list if we move anyone it would be yami up a bit to a tier guldri down or, or guldri i don't i don't give a fuck um except for that maybe you know to a but i think i'm pretty happy with that and then vettel to a maybe Asta can maybe even go to A because I don't think his damage is that crazy. Where Charmy, it's like, obviously, she is type advantage. She's not, sorry. She's type disadvantage, but the main part of her damage, burn and the pumpkin, is type neutral, right? So, I think. I mean, I have no confirmation of that, but I would like to believe so. You know? I would like to believe so. I, I can't be certain, but I think it's type neutral. So, you know, that damage doesn't really make a difference. So, yeah, this is my tier list for Season 5. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.